As I travel across the U.S., uh, one of the most common things that I often hear from horse owners is that they, they have a problem with thrush. And, and as they describe their particular problem to me, uh, they, they want to describe this as being a cycle. In other words, they will use a product for thrush uh, to eliminate the thrush. It does that. And then over a short period of time, then this, this problem comes back. So it's just a continuous cycle that you're dealing with. Of course, we often associate thrush with wet, dry conditions. Of course, uh, part of that may be management as well, and, and from the standpoint, if we don't do a good job in picking up those feet, cleaning those feet on a regular basis, then we often will have debris that will pack in, that will fill in, particularly if we have a horse that has shoes, that entire sole area. And if we have a barefoot horse, uh, the commissures on either side of the frog can be packed with debris. And, and what that does is that eliminates the needed oxygen to the foot. And thrush, uh, it comes about from bacteria, and especially bacteria that thrives in the absence of oxygen itself. So today we're going to bring up a horse uh, out of the pasture. The horse essentially lives in the pasture uh, pretty much 24-7. We do have wet, we do have muddy conditions, and we do have a management problem with this horse and that its feet are not often cleaned on a regular basis. And so we'll, we'll actually pick up the front foot of this horse and, and we'll actually take a look at the cleaning process and actually see what we find uh, as we go through the process in this particular video. Uh, and as we pick up the foot of this particular horse here, you can see that we, we do have a management problem. Uh, the, the foot hasn't been cleaned out for some time. And, and as you uh, watch this and as I pick this particular foot out and remove this particular debris, we're going to see a lot of black. And, and that's essentially thrush that uh, has a starting point. And if we don't get a handle on this, then uh, the uh, problem will just uh, continue to increase and actually get to the point where if we neglect the problem over a period of time, uh, then the thrush can actually, the bacteria can actually eat into and get into the sensitive part of the uh, foot as well, causing soreness and lameness. Uh, as you can see, we've actually cleaned the foot out, and uh, at this point, we have Laura Gillespie with us. Laura is a professional farrier. And Laura is going to go through the process of actually pulling the shoe, trimming the foot, and as she cleans up the foot, uh, it's going to be more evident of the thrush that we have in the commissures on either side of the frog there. In fact, we will see the black that's very deep in the commissure area. And as she finishes up the white line area as well, we're going to see some black, especially around the nail holes, which is bacteria as well. Uh, after she gets the foot trimmed, she's going through the process of treating the thrush and also applying a particular product uh, directly uh, into the white line area itself. And, and what she's going to use is a product uh, called Life Data Hoof Clay. Now the hoof clay is a product that has a putty-like form, consistency, it's very soft, it's very pliable, and it's going to stick very well to the surface of the foot. It's going to pack in any of the hoof wall defects, such as cracks, chips, old nail holes. And the beauty about this is, under normal conditions, especially for treating for thrush, you'll have enough residual there for three or four days and at that point in time we'll come back and do another application. So we'll watch Laura as she goes through this process. And she's actually going to remove the shoe from this uh, same horse uh, that we actually removed all this excess debris from at the very beginning. And as you watch, she's going to actually pull the shoe off. And as uh, after she has removed the shoe, 
uh, then we can see all that's going on here as far as the, the black. And then she's going to simply take her hoof knife and she's going to start trimming the foot and removing a lot of the excess uh, sole, number one, uh, trimming the frog, number two. And as she cleans out on either side of the frog into the commissure area there, we can see this black uh, and, and that's simply bacteria there. And then we're going to watch her as she completely trims the excess hoof wall completely around. And uh, as she continues to do that, uh, at some point she's going to take her file and she's going to start leveling the, uh, the, the bottom of the foot, the hoof wall itself. And then she's going to continue to use her hoof knife and she's going to continue to clean out as much of the excess is needed. And of course, a lot of this process, she's actually removing some of this black. But as you take a look at the hoof wall itself, you're still going to see a lot of black in that white line area, and especially around the nail holes uh, themselves. And then as she uh, further preps the foot to get it ready for the placement of the shoe itself, uh, one of the products that she's going to use, especially in the white line area, is uh, our Life Data Hoof Clay. And it's a very mild, it's a, uh, a non-caustic type product, a product that's not going to burn, or it's not going to kill hoof tissue. And as you can see, she's simply using her finger to make the application. Now, you can also use a tongue depressor uh, if you choose to make the application that way. And then, of course, she's completely covered the, uh, the white line area. She's actually going to nail the shoe back onto the foot itself. And then after she has completely nailed the, the, the shoe on, she's going to come back and she's going to take her finger again and she's going to take some more of the hoof clay and she's going to press that into the commissures and into the central part of the frog. And then the, the beauty about the hoof clay is that it sticks very good to the surface of the foot, whether that's the hoof wall or whether that's the, the, the sole of the foot as well. It also works well into any of your hoof wall imperfections, such as, such as cracks, chips, uh, old nail holes. It works wonderful in as well. So let, let's keep in mind that management is a big factor in preventing thrush. Uh, number two, we need to trim, uh, reset on a regular basis there. Uh, if we have a problem with some thrush, whether that's mild, whether that's severe, the hoof clay does a great job in helping control and helping to alleviate the problem. And then we can also uh, use the hoof clay in any other the problem areas that we might have in the hoof wall itself.